You'll make better videos if you follow these three suggestions. Keep it short. People are so busy that they're not going to have time to watch more than a three minute video you post on YouTube. Avoid jump cuts and liberally use sound. And that means natural sound from the camera, voiceover sound which you can capture with the camera and just use the sound part of the clip, sound effects which are available in the iMovie library or on the internet, and of course, music. People would tell me how much they enjoyed the trailers that I made in iMovie, but they didn't comment so positively about my longer videos. The trailer templates are not much more than a minute. I was only using a small fraction of the footage that I took during the event. Tell me, we've had enough of this. Why came? We're leaving. We've had enough of this neighborhood. It's good for most people. Yeah. These clips that I took in the Port of Los Angeles of different boats demonstrate jump cuts. Not only do the boats appear to jump in location from one clip to the next, but also the water line and pier of each clip jumps across the edit. To avoid the jump cut, take a totally different scene, such as this one of the seals, and put it between two clips of boats. Here, the dog and I will abruptly change position and new people will appear. Putting a close-up between the two shots will give the impression that time has passed and new people walked into the scene. Similar backgrounds taken from similar angles will always be a jump cut. The backgrounds are so similar that even changing the camera angle and location won't prevent the building from jumping. That's right, get down, get down. Close-ups were used to make it appear that the dog was skateboarding a longer distance. There are still some jumpy cuts because when I made this video, I didn't realize how important close-ups are. <laughs> this Thanksgiving video uses portions of the same clip in the kitchen, cross-cut with portions of the clip showing the guests by cross-cutting, we see that there's workers in the kitchen and people relaxing. Each clip is very short. This video of our neighborhood barbecue, I use sound bites using the camera as a voice recorder and not filming the person. Party is beautiful. It's a way of meeting all the neighbors since I've only been here a year. Two thousand and twelve block party. Sponsored by Kurt and Kurt. These are fabulous. I think this is probably my eighth party and we just have so much fun. Elsa, hi. The voiceover is spaced across the video, added a sense of uh, realism and enhanced the party atmosphere. The barbecue every year. It just brings the whole neighborhood together. Thank you, Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> I've been All right, we're videotaping Mary. <laughs> Freaks people out like this. Hi there. This is my second block party and our son's very first block party. I use this small subcompact cannon point and shoot. So all the videos that you've been seeing were taken with this. And to get good sound quality, 
I tried to get about four feet away from the person. When Billy the Kid broke out of the Lincoln County Jail, he killed two deputies escaping, came back to Fort Sumner and was hid out in Jesus Silva's camp. And then what I like about the small camera is I can just carry it with me, it lives in my pocket, I can uh, put it uh, in my pocket, I can put it on the table, and it's unobtrusive because I see a lot of people having big camera equipment. But when I go to a party, I like to be part of the party, and I only want to have this small camera. Here's a Halloween video I made in iMovie. Huh? <laughs> General Goethals was very pleased. He says the canal is just the right size. I wanted to quickly take advantage of the transitions available in iMovie. The clips that I took at night with the different glow sticks worked nicely with the cube transition since the black background of the night limited the visibility of the turning cubes. Can you look scary? <laughs> Thanks for watching the video and I hope you found it interesting and possibly useful.